welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, and if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning watcher, hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on how I glue my lace front down on my toppers. Um, this was kind of a requested video, so I'm ho I'll just show you what I do. This might not be what everybody does, and excuse this mess. I just kind of... This is like two or three day hair, and um, it's got some... Dry shampoo in it, and then I did try and curl it a little bit to match the topper, but honestly, my hair just does not hold curl. Like, I try and do the best that I can, but it's just so fine and thin that it just doesn't hold a curl very well. But I did the best I could. I used this, uh, I think this is like a two inch iron. I'm not even sure what brand this is. Oh, it's a ba Babyless Pro. Is that how you say that? Babyless? Babyless? Anyway. So I used that, and I even let the curls cool down and I even sprayed them and they still just my hair just is horrible at holding curls so that's like uh, and the 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 waver the waver yeah the topper I have is wavy so I'm just kind of it, it should mesh because the topper is very full coverage anyways um so you know I'll just show you how I do it so the things I use are this got to be glued ultra glued styling gel this is what I'm using as the glue part and I'm going to clean up around my hairline with my toner. This is the Deep Sweep Pharmacy toner. Um, I have bedhead hairspray here in case I need it. I also have a little bit left of my, um, this is the Aesthetica Wig Mist for wigs. It's like a conditioner. It's like a revitalize and shine. It adds weightless moisture and shine to your wigs and it detangles them. I think that's all I'm going to need. I guess we'll find out once we get <laughs> once we get going. So I have my topper over here. Also, I'm going to be putting on this John Renault Top Smart 18 inch wavy topper in the color Palm Springs Blonde. It has this lace front right here. And as you can see, there was a clip here. I removed this clip and then there's clips around it. And I believe this base is a 9x9. Nine nine. So this is what it looks like. This is what the lace front looks like. And um, I could honestly probably cut a little bit of that off, but I'm not going to do that today. So, I have worn this a couple of times. Um, it's very pretty. I did put some wig mist in it and just kind of uh, comb it out starting at the bottom and working my way up and sprayed more mist in and kind of scrunched it. And the curls come right back to life when you do that. So, we are going to be using that topper. We'll see how this goes. So, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that where I'm going to be putting the glue is free of oils and makeup and all those kind of things. So, I just take my toner with a cotton pad and I just go around and we can put makeup on later but I want to take the makeup off for now so that the glue will sit up there and stay. If you have if you have like an oily forehead or makeup there the glue won't um, it will probably stick but it you know might not last as long if you're looking for like an all-day wear or even maybe a several day wear now I didn't, I only used this for one day and then I ended up kind of taking it off because I believe that this glue is water soluble. So um, if you want your topper to come off really easily, which it came off really easily anyways, it does do a really good hold but it did come off for me very well so let me move this over this way a little bit. Okay. Alright, maybe I'll move you in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I feel like from far away you might not be able to see it. Um, I'm just going to push this hair out of the way. So there's my hairline. I have a really high forehead, I feel like. So, you know, I am going to put this glue right underneath my hairline because I want the topper to sit there um, so that I actually create a new hairline. Um, I feel like I have like a five head going on here. Like my forehead's really big. My forehead is a good four and a half fingers. So I'm going to actually recreate a whole hairline with this topper. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you only need a very, very little bit of this glue. Like that's all I'm using right there. And I, this is probably too much, but I'm just going to dab this on right around where... I'm going to set this topper just right there. And then I should have grabbed some makeup wipes, but I didn't. I'm going to wipe my finger off on something. Wipe, wipe the excess glue off. And then I'm going to just kind of connect all these dots together. 
And like I said, I'm going to be bringing that topper almost down to create a new hairline so that I'm not putting any glue really in my hair. I mean, I'm accidentally kind of getting some in here, but so we're going to just put that glue right where this topper is going to lay. And, you know, if you have a receding hairline, this is how you're, you could really create a whole new hairline with this. We're going to is what we're going to do. So I do get a little bit in my hair, but not a whole lot. So what we're going to do now is, now that I've got this first layer of glue down, let me straighten out my camera, we are going to wait until this gets tacky, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. It's been probably about five minutes. I almost want this to completely dry, um, because I'm going to add another layer of the got to be glued. So it's like that first initial layer is going to hold it. And then the second layer, we're not going to let dry as much. So this is like almost dry. It's, it's actually pretty much almost dry. It's just barely, barely tacky. So I'm going to take just a little bit more of the got to be glued. That's all I'm using. And I'm going to go right back over where I was before. I'm going to lay a few dots along here. And again, that was even almost a little too much. You do not need a whole lot of this. And then I'm going to connect all these dots right along here where the lace is going to lay on my forehead. And we're not going to let this one dry quite as long. This is going to be the layer where the glue, where the lace is going to lay and stick. So I believe I like my topper kind of parted to the left. So that's why I have my hair like over this way. Um, you may even want to take a little bit of hairspray and kind of put it around the top of your head just to give the clips kind of something to hold on to. Um, so we're going to let this dry. You can take a blow dryer and kind of dry it a little bit if you want, but I'm not going to do that, but we're just going to let this get a little bit tacky. It's not going to take too long, but you do want it to get, you want, do want to wait until it gets tacky because if you don't, that lace front's just going to slip and slide everywhere. And I did notice, um, even when I use the got to be glued, got to be glued, even though it's a pretty strong hold, I can still kind of move it around because the last time I put this topper on, I waited quite a while for this to get dry and I was still able to move it to where I wanted it. Okay. Let me see. It's pretty tacky, it's still pretty tacky. It takes a few minutes for this to come together. You'll feel it though, like when I first put the first initial uh, bit on, you can almost feel it drying. It almost feels like when you're wearing one of those face masks and it gets tight, it's like, it's like it sucks your skin right up in there. But we don't want to let this one get completely dry. If you let it get completely dry, it's, this isn't, it's, it's, you're not gonna get a really, really super good hold. And it's still pretty tacky. It takes a few minutes, guys. It takes a few minutes, for sure. For the sake of time, I'm gonna, we're gonna assume this is pretty darn tacky. Like, you should be able to touch it. Oh, it's good now. You, you'll touch it and it'll like, it'll like stick. You'll feel like a stickiness to your finger. So what I do is I'm gonna open up all, all of these clips on here. And again, I took out this clip. That's the only clip I took out um, because when I glue it down, I don't want to feel that clip right there. And I don't need this clip because of the glue. I don't need it. So we're not going to even worry about it. Okay. Here's, here's where the hard part kind of is because you have to make sure you lay this down where you want it. So there's my lace front right there. And I'm going to bring it down to about right here. And see, I can still kind of move it around. And I'm not going to clip my clips. I'm just going to put this down. And I'm going to let this just kind of sit there. I'm not going to clip it quite yet. Like around the back. Because, let me put this hair, pin this hair up. Okay. So there it is. It's sitting in that glue. Give it a good press. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this. This is just like a bath, I don't know what they call these, it's like a head wrap type of thing. I got it off of Amazon and I got like a two pack for like six bucks. So there's the lace front. I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to wrap it around as tight as I can. Get 
give it a good press, wrap it around as tight as you can, and we're gonna leave this on the head for about 10 minutes. So I will be right back and we'll see what we do from here. Hi everyone, so we're back. It's been probably more than 10 minutes. It's probably more, been like more than like a half hour, but the longer you could leave this on to hold this down, probably the better off you are anyways. So I just take this off, and the main reason I do that is just so it holds this lace front down really tight. Like, I literally, like, squish my brains with this thing, so that's what she looks like right now. Let me move you in a little bit, sorry for the camera maneuver here. But I just kind of want you to see what's going on up here. So that's it laid down. It is glued down, and here's, that's how tight it is. Look at that. Like, you cannot pull that off. There it is moving. So I don't have the clips um, clipped yet either. I usually do this before I clip the clip. So I'll start in the back. And let me pull the back down, clip it, and then I go around the back of the perimeter here. There's that one. Sometimes these are hard. there's that one. And then the side ones, I'm thinking about removing the side because I don't, these side clips because I don't really have a lot of hair like on the sides over here I'm very thin like on the top and on the sides so I'm half tempted to remove them but I'm afraid that I won't have anything to you know <laughs> anything to hold this down and this is like super tight like look at that look at this I'm like pulling on this thing okay so now we just need to kind of style it um, the way I need the way you want to you can move the part any way you want to I'm just going to just comb through this just a little bit and I like to kind of push my hair back into the, the what hair I have <laughs> back into this and kind of pull through that way the hair kind of like meshes together and so there it is let me pull just a little bit of this back a little bit because I feel like there's a lot of hair right up here in the front and there is a lot of hair on this topper. This topper weighs about as much as a wig does. <laughs> it's like 5.6 ounces, I think. So there, much better. We're getting there. I'm just gonna finger <laughs> finger through the waves here. No, no pun intended there. But there's a few hairs coming out, um, probably because I brushed her out. Or I didn't really brush it, I just combed it out. But so there you have it. If you're if your clips start to feel a little bit loose, go back and redo them. I feel like a little bit more of this up here should go over here. Just a little bit. Let me put some over there. This clip needs redone. Sometimes you gotta re-maneuver the clips a couple times to get it to work for you. But there she is. And then you can, uh, actually once I get kind of where I want it in place, I take my revitalizing, revitalizing mist and I'll just go back through and kind of scrunch the waves a little bit with this. It'll bring the waves back to life if you've run like a little bit of a comb through them or anything. It's the Aesthetica, by the way. It's the Aesthetica wig mist. And so there she is in all of her glory. And that lace front looks pretty dang good. I hope my lighting is coming across. And that thing is on, like look at that. I can like literally pull it from side to side and that thing is not going anywhere. It is not going anywhere. Now at the end of the day, if I don't wanna wear this all day, I'll probably just um, put some water up there and it will just, you know, it'll make the gel kind of loosey goosey. But I've glued this down before and I didn't have any kind of problem with the lace at all as far as getting the glue off of it or anything like that. It's not like glue, We're not. it's not really like, glue glue it's more like a gel so you know I mean it's not like super glue or gorilla glue don't ever use gorilla glue don't do that y'all but so there it is and I would probably do many activities with that having this glued down I mean that sucker is not going anywhere and it looks really good like the lace front on this and the parting looks really really good on it so that's what it looks like. And again, this is a lot of hair. So if you have um, a lot of hair loss, but you have hair that you can clip this to, you don't need a whole lot of hair under here. I, I don't have a whole lot of hair. And my hair is very thin and it's nowhere near as long as this topper. But this topper gives such good coverage that you don't need a whole lot of hair. <laughs> you really don't. That's how the length in the back. 
I hope you can see that. That's all the hair in the back. You know, so I, I really don't have a whole lot of hair, but this topper gives, you know, I, it covers so much that you don't need to have a lot of hair to use it. And again, my hair is much shorter than this, like, you know, I have very fine, thin hair, and I just kind of do this through the wig and it kind of blends it together, so... Yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how I put this topper on. It is really, really beautiful, and I highly recommend it. And I did buy it at the Beauty Nook, so I will leave their info below. So if you want a topper, you can get one, or maybe you want a new wig. If you're a first-time customer, I'll leave my code below, so you get 35% off your first order, which is an enormous savings. <laughs> and, but my code also, I'll leave it on the screen here. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate every, one of, every single one of you, and... I really hope you're all having a great day. Stop back later. I'll have another re wig review very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.